Our entire family has always been in the rock business. My dad, in 1978, had been running a concrete plant in Dayton, Tennessee at a quarry site and realized that he enjoyed making concrete. And so in 78, he went out on his own and uh, started our first plant, which is Bradley Concrete. I always had a vision of maybe hauling concrete from Chattanooga to Knoxville. It's kind of taken me 36 years to do that, but <laughs> basically a transportation company, we haul concrete, ready to mix concrete, and it makes a truck. And then we've got plants, and we feed our plants with uh, front end loaders. The wheel loader is, is the key to the whole deal. In 1999, we bought our first Volvo. I kind of dove into this wheel loader market and tried to all of them. Had demos, had companies bringing demos, machines to our plant for us to use. I was flown to a couple of proving grounds to run some other machines. And it became obvious that Volvo was definitely the best choice in pretty much every way. It was kind of our first step to growing the business. And I feel like we kind of did it with Volvo. Our loaders will move about 1,000 to 1,500 tons a day. We have to have a wheel loader that has to work all day, every day. If the loader goes down, then our whole operation stops. As far as maintenance goes, um, engines have been next to bulletproof. They've been fantastic. When it gets cranked, at six in the morning, it runs till seven or eight o'clock at night. It's never shut off 12, 13 hours a day, every day. We've not had any engine problems out of any of our Volvo loaders. Visibility out of the machine is very important to be able to have full vision all the way around. The side glasses that go down to the floorboard, uh, it gives you a vision of the pivot points on the loader. That has helped a lot operator comfort. I mean, you got a guy that's gonna sit in a machine, he's gonna be in it 12 hours a day. It needs to be comfortable. And to me, they were overall the most comfortable and ease of operating machine that was available. I'm able to put a larger volume bucket on a smaller tractor and have control. They handle just about anything you wanna pick up and they still feel good. I do not think they, there is another machine that is more set, more suitable, more accommodating to the operator and the company as well than a Volvo.